of you in the audience would be surprised by my choice of words if I said this year's ITS World Congress is happening at a time when this nation is on the cusp of some truly great things in our effort to bring connected vehicle technology to our roads, to our cities, and to our communities. Because as someone who believes in the capability of the technology to save lives and make our roadways more efficient and environmentally sustainable, as someone who works with folks inside the department and outside of it, who have dedicated their careers and in turn much of their lives to making connected vehicles a reality, I could never focus my vision any direction but forward because the people of this country and the international transportation community need our programs to be a success. The goal of these technologies, whether it's automation, whether it's V2V -V communications, is to address human error. Human error is a significant factor in about 90% of the crashes on our roads. So the degree to which technology can compensate for and eliminate the impacts of human error, we're all going to be safer. But the reality is it doesn't just simply eliminate human error, it eliminates some of the risks from driver error, but it does shift some of the responsibility and some of the risks of error back to the automakers, to the developers. And that's why we've actually been working for years um, to make sure that we are ready and ahead of the curve on all of this. We're looking to find ways to, you know, find practical applications uh, for, you know, ITS in the real world so that crossing the street doesn't have to be some sort of death-defying act, where we can do everything that we can with technology uh, to help build those sustainable communities where, where you know, we're bringing back economies, people are coming back to the streets, they're getting in, as the Surgeon General wants, 10,000 steps a day, people returning to the streets and, and using their bikes and walking to their destinations. Um, and being able to do so without, uh, you know, major conflicts with cars, as well as buses, transit or inner city, uh, and trucks as well. So multiple applications there. We provide a lot of technical assistance and tools and, and uh, uh, other resources to state and local agencies when it comes to pet and bike safety. Um, for example, Federal Highway can work with local governments to provide road safety audits, which are a tool to identify ways in which uh, uh, roads can be, can be made safer from a pedestrian and bike standpoint, either changing the timing of signals, um, other, other enhancements to the road environment. And so we do a lot of that work with uh, local governments, uh, particularly, uh, well, especially for those cities that are looking at expanding their bike networks and also pedestrian as well.